Hi creators, this is Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus and today we are going to be covering how to create human skin in ZBrush. We are going to detail in ZBrush and then bring it in in Substance Painter to texture. If you are new to this channel, I post 3D tutorials on a weekly basis. I teach ZBrush, Substance Painter, Maya, Photoshop and so much more. So if this is your sort of thing, please consider subscribing. So bring out your creativity, open up your software and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this is the method that we're going to be using. Uh, we're going to be using the brushes that ZBrush provides to be able to get something similar to this, but maybe not so dramatic. So we're going to be using damn standard brush. We're going to be using a bunch of stuff, but that's kind of like the idea behind ZBrush. So of course, the first thing we want to do is import. I'm going to be importing the, um, the head and then OBJ and I can grab the female OBJ, drag it in and edit. So you can see right now that my poly count is at 4,000, which I'm clearly gonna need more. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start dividing right away. So now I've got 71, I've got 285, and now I'm at a million. And I think that's a good place for me to start. And this may not be enough much, but we're gonna do our best. So the first thing you wanna think about is, let's say wrinkles. So we're gonna go up here to the top and we of course can use the damn standard. So again, if you click on the letter D and then S, you will get the damn standard. And the damn standard usually just kind of does that. But what's nice about the damn standard is that you can quickly create textures or basically wrinkles. So for example, for those crow feet, you can actually go in and start drawing your crow's feet. Again, you probably wanna do a little bit of reference and I think this is a little strong. But um, you can quickly, using the damn standard, you can get some details. So I think my intensity is too strong. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and reduce my draw, stra uh, draw, draw size and then just kind of go in and just kind of add some. So what you're trying to do is just kind of create some uh, crisscross. So that it could include under here. Uh, that can also include scars. That can include frowny lines and I probably should have had symmetry on <laughs> oh well don't forget the other side so by the way the shortcut for symmetry is x so I'm just going to go ahead and quickly just kind of add some uh, scratches along the eyes not scratch it looks like scratches but it's actually indentation uh, you can also get details here for example so you can we as we start getting older we get wrinkles around here um, this would be a place to even draw your lip texture, right? So we also get a lot of lips, like our lips actually have lines. So you might want to go in and just kind of uh, draw some lines. And I'm not a big fan of the gray, so let's choose something a little bit more neutral. There we go. That gives us a little bit more of that actual detail. Other things that we can do is go back to our uh, standard brush and to get a little bit more faster textures in your alpha, we have this called alpha 58. If you click on that, it will actually cross, cause scratches, right? But if you click on the sub, it will put scratches inward. So by reducing the intensity, we can very quickly create some nice textures around areas that you might need it. So we usually get textures around our faces here. Oops, it's probably too strong. Let me go back in here. So again, it's just kind of like a, just some really basic, I think my depth is still too strong. So again, it's just kind of adding some texture information along here. You probably want to add, again, this is making her age, which is what, I know what I'm looking for, but you can add some textures around the forehead you know, things like that. So my character is already starting to look a little older. Again, if you kind of messed up, you can always hit the shift, which will smooth things out. And then you can kind of add the texture. And if you want to add, you know, around the eyes, we actually get a lot of wrinkles because we have so much expression there. So you just kind of go in and just kind of quickly add some textures. So pores, we can use the regular one. If you click on this little guy, we can use what's called color spray. And instead of using these lines, we're going to use um, alpha 40. So again, we have some presets already. So alpha 40 is um, 
it's a tiny little dot. So with the spray, I can go in and start adding pores. Now, because I have, um, this is why I don't like symmetry. Um, you can see where exactly the mirror location is. So I'm gonna click X so I can add some textures along there. So again, when we come, when we have pores, we have them just about everywhere. We have them down here in our mouth. Uh, this is a really fast way of creating pores. You can make them smaller, right? So we can grab a draw size and just kind of, some people actually just put these pores everywhere because we're literally covered in pores. So you can just kind of add pores in here, but you want to add small amounts of pores. Right, so I'm just adding lots of little pores because we have our bigger pores are obviously in our, our noses and sometimes around our um, T areas or T zone areas, which is our forehead and here as well. But again, it's all depend on the age and if they're wearing makeup and all sorts of stuff. But in general, our pores around our noses are kind of hard to ignore. So I'm just gonna add in pores along her face. And these are just little pores. So you can kind of, I don't know if you guys can see it, but if I get in, I'm just creating some pores. Again, this is just adding texture information to our character. So our skin is very comp. Oh, don't forget the bottom. Well, I'll make bigger. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So again, it really depends on your character. You know, we're kind of making her age. So if you want deeper pores, you can increase your, and you know, and just kind of make sure that she's got really visible pores. But if you don't want them that strong, I mean, we all have pores, so just add pores, but just like very low intensity. We can also use um, the same idea of um, this color spray and also use this scratchy, which is the Alpha 58, which will give us skin texture. So let me increase the intensity a little bit. So um, it actually gives you a little bit of that skin texture. So I can tell that my pixels are starting to get a little small. So I'm gonna divide and then I can add extra detail. So this is the detail that makes it look like skin. can add some nice skin texture to your character. So any area that you feel like it needs more information, just go ahead and add the skin texture. But this adds more information to our skin. And then of course you can always go back and just do freehand and just kind of bring those textures back. Increase your intensity if you need to. Just gonna add those back. And then after that is adding, um, you know, things like uh, zits. You can use the, the, let's see, alpha 54. You can use the drag rectangle. So they can actually just kind of click and drag and maybe 54 is too small. So grab a bigger one and then increase the intensity, click and drag and you can get <laughs> a hole. But if you do add, then you can actually go in and add like floss. So that's a little strong for me, but I just wanted to demonstrate it to you that now you can go in and just kind of add, uh, where is my intensity now? You can add little, this little floss here and there. And if any of them have scratches, you can always grab the damn standard. 
increase the intensity and just gonna give a scratch. So for example, maybe they got a scratch here or along the eye. That's always kind of cool looking if somebody's like just got into a fight and they got their face scratched up or something. So you can create some scars if you want to. You don't have to, just an idea. And that's like the fundamentals of how to create skin. So again, I'll just show this image, which is the regular brush uh, with the Alpha 58 to get this kind of texture. Then you can use the standard brush with a color spray and an Alpha 40 to get pores. And then you can get skin with an Alpha 58 and a color spray to get the, like the overall texture. And then you can add in the tiny little flaws so that you can start getting those zits and, and information. Now what I can do is actually just export it. So I'm gonna export it. This is going to be, let me spell it right this time. It's a 4 million, 4.5 million poly. So it's gonna take a little bit of time. All right, now that I have the low poly model and the high poly model, I'm gonna go ahead and bring it into Substance Painter, import the low poly and show you guys how to bake. If you guys don't know how to do this, take a look at my previous Substance Painter tutorials where I cover all of this and I will link it above and also below in the description. Let me show you guys how to bake this. So I'm gonna to go to bake and uh, again, choose a, like a 2048 map. And this is already UV map and that's really important. Click on that little option and then choose your high poly. And uh, you're gonna see that it's gonna do this. I usually go to ambient occlusion and turn off uh, ignore back faces always. And now this is a big mesh, so it's gonna take a while. Okay, now it's gonna take forever because it's gonna look at the normal maps of the eyes. And there's not much information there, but it's gonna think that it's got a lot of information. So it's just baking everything. And there you go. So you can see that we get some really nice detailed information. Actually, it, did, it actually baked really well. You guys can add in your skin shader. So which one's my skin? I think it's this one. Yep. So we can do uh, the skin. Oops. Let me get into layers. And you can see all. So now you have all this information. And if you want to get those freckles, you just can create a new map. I mean, you guys don't actually have to use the fill layer. I'd like to use it because then I can use the same color, but you can always just create like a regular layer and then choose a color. You can get rid of all this and just kind of pick kind of like a brown, depends how dark you want to go. Ah. And then you just kind of go in here and paint it in if you want to. Pink. Pink. And you just kind of add the details that you need. So if you want to, you can go in and change the color to more, a little bit more red. And then you can go in and kind of color in that scar. Oh, it might be easier painting here. So you can just kind of And you can always duplicate this layer and you can add what's called a filter. So if you want to, you can add what's called a, um, a filter. And then you can type in like Gaussian blur or just blur and then you can blur it. So what I was trying to do is just kind of, uh, I duplicated this layer and then I added a Gaussian blur. So it looks, so I can try to blend it in a little bit. And this one, I can change the mode. Maybe multiply might be better. Overlay might be better and I can reduce the opacity. So you can get a lot more details with ZBrush. So you will never get these type of details like the most, I mean, you can in substance, but with ZBrush, it's way easy. And that is how you detail human skin in ZBrush and bring it into Substance Painter for texturing. Pretty sweet. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. Let me know by leaving a comment below. And also please like and subscribe if this is something that you'd like to see and you want to see more by liking and subscribing. It does help me out. Also take a look at academicphoenixplus.com. There you will find free tutorials, free downloads, and other resources just for you. So please take a look at academicphoenixplus.com. Again, thank you so much for watching. Keep creating and I will see you next time.